Robinhood is getting so pumped on the stock out of this explosion. You have no media calling out Trevor Milton. He's getting on all these shows, um, saying how he would go on any podcast that invites him on, except I went, I invited him onto my hyperchange and he never replied or did anything. Ex although he did watch my video because he tweeted about like how dumb I was or something. Um, but he won't come on the show because he knows. Um, and I just think it's like, I don't know. So like the Badger truck, let's start with the Badger truck. So they have this pickup truck that they're like, this is going to be a game changer as hydrogen and batteries. Um, it looks super, super dope. They're opening reservations for it for $5,000. But then if you go and read their SEC filing, this may have changed because this was filed on June 15th. They talk about the Nikola truck uh, or the Nikola Badger, their pickup truck. And they say, um, at this time, we are focused on the production of our its class eight heavy duty vehicles and do not expect to develop production plans for the Badger unless we enter into strategic partnership with an established OEM. So they don't even think this whole pickup truck that they're hyping up as the disruption, the game changer electric pickup truck with the best battery in the world that they're making people pay 5,000 to pre-order, even though there's no price, there's no delivery timeline. And now if you read the SEC filing, there's no partner. Nikola even says, we're not even going to build this truck. We don't even plan on building it. It's not even our focus. We have to sign a strategic partnership with a uh, another car company who's actually going to build it because we can't even build a pickup truck. But then if you read this guy's Twitter, he's hyping up about how this pickup truck is going to change everything. Like, this is just, it blows my mind that they're getting away with this. Um, and what's happening here, um, and I think it's so, so fascinating how, like like I said, Trevor Milton cashes at $7 million. You have all of these big investors getting in at $10, you know, $25 billion. You only, they haven't even sold a, a truck or anything. They only need to dilute 10% of $25 billion. It's $2.5 billion. Think about how money, much money is going around for all these executives to get paid who literally have not done anything, yet the people are going to get paid to cash out. Like, this, how is this not like a huge red flag? It's like you literally haven't even built a truck yet you cashed out 70 million. Your investors are, are buying puts like crazy to lock in massive hundreds of millions of dollars of profit. Um, even though you haven't even sold a truck yet, like this is ridiculous to me um, that this kind of thing occurs and it's brilliantly designed because they're not delivering, they're not even starting to build the electric truck till 2021, the hydrogen truck till 2023, the badger, who knows when that's coming out. I mean, they're going to be able to liquidate hundreds of millions of dollars of equity before they even have the rubber meet the road. They, they don't even have to miss any of their deadlines because they put their deadlines so far out. So, you know, you're buying into this company, Nikola, that lost 90 or $100 million last year. Um, you know, they have a billion in cash. They can keep going, putting out, you know, fancy renders of prototypes forever. Um, you know, burning a hundred million a year. They could last, this could last for years. Insiders, executives, early investors can all cash out before even delivering a single car because investors like that are down to wait. And, you know, I don't know. I think this is insane. And I will also say that I see some people being like, you're desperate. Like I have no position in Nikola. Um, you know, I'm a Tesla shareholder, so maybe I'm biased. Like, this is not financial advice. Nothing in the show is financial advice. Um, I just like to document case studies. You know, I think Nikola Motors is a fascinating case study going on right now. Um, that's what I think of every single stock. You just got to study it. And like, could I be wrong? Um, maybe, you know, I, the vision of switching to a clean, uh, you know, hydrogen-based fuel cell system for our trucking infrastructure is awesome. And maybe you do have a niche use case of where electric trucks are good up to 300 miles, but if you get to that five or 600 mile range with extremely heavy cargo, then maybe it does make sense to uh, hydrogen. So I think there is potentially a niche where hydrogen trucks could work. Nikola has a ton of capital. It seems they have a bunch of partnerships in the space. Like, I don't know. Let's see if they execute. You know, I'll give them a chance um, to try and do that. I could be totally wrong here, uh, but this is a case study. And, you know, I like to take you know, I'm, I'm biased. I like to give my biased and honest opinion. And my biased and honest opinion is like, this is a joke. Like there's no way Nikola's for 25 billion. You have Robinhood traders who haven't done any numbers on evaluation. That's the only people buying it at this price. I mean, this is a joke um, to people who've actually had to see Tesla build factories and try and build cars and deal with customers. And, you know, it's, it's insane how much uphill difficulty is left for Nikola. Like they're in the honeymoon phase.